if life does exist on Venus, NASA may have first detected it back in 1978, but the finding went unnoticed for 42 years. Let's be clear, life on Venus is still a long shot. What scientists have actually found that makes them think there might be life there, or just some sort of unknown chemistry, is a molecule called phosphine. There's phosphine in the clouds of Venus, and phosphine, a toxic gas that you and I wouldn't want to breathe, can actually be produced by my microbial life. So researchers have long thought of phosphine as a signature that if you see it in the atmosphere of a planet, there's probably some sort of microbial life there. The researchers weren't expecting to find phosphine on Venus. Venus is not the sort of place you would expect to find microbial life. It's hot. It's toxic. When they looked for phosphine in the clouds, they were trying to calibrate their instruments on a planet that should have no phosphine at all, but they found it there. And that sent another group of researchers looking through old data, specifically data from a probe that reached Venus in 1978. It was one of a group of probes dropped by a spacecraft called Pioneer 13 into the clouds of Venus. And what these probes did was they took all sorts of measurements from the clouds before they plummeted to the surface and were destroyed in the hot, hard surface of Venus. One of the instruments on that Pioneer 13 probe was designed to test the chemistry of the clouds. And it wasn't designed to look for phosphine, it was designed to look for other sorts of elements and molecules. Again, no one was expecting to find life there. But going back through the data, the researchers think they found evidence of phosphine that was ignored back when it was uncovered back in 1978. There is clear evidence of a great deal of phosphorus in the clouds, and phosphorus is a key part of phosphine. And there does seem to be evidence of some molecule that sure looks like phosphine to the instrument, but the instrument isn't precise enough to tell whether it was phosphine or another molecule of similar mass. This, all this really amounts to is telling us that if phosphine exists on Venus now, it probably was there in 1978, which isn't hugely surprising. But it does go to show how if you make a discovery, but you're not ready to look for it, you might not realize what you found. Rakesh Magul, a biochemist at Cal Poly Pomona in California and an author of the new paper describing this 1978 discovery, said that what's needed is more probes to Venus. There are some plans in the works for probes that could reach the planet, but he said that we need new ideas for probes that will study Venus as thoroughly as Mars is being studied now. That will be a challenge. The planet is hot, it has thick clouds, it is full of toxic gas and you know, destructive chemicals. But if there's life there, it might be worth it. <laughs>